Howdy folks, Bill Palmer here again. A lesson here for learnacousticguitar.com. Uh, what we're going to check out today is chord melody playing. Uh, this will be the first in a uh, sort of three part sort of thing that I'll go through. Um, now, uh, chord solo playing or chord melody playing, solo acoustic guitar playing, however that you want to sort of express it or talk about it, it's basically, in a nutshell, it's really where you as a guitarist are playing the chords of the AR tune together with the melody at the same time and giving the listener the impression that you're doing both of them uh, at once, okay? So, um, it sounds really, really involved and especially if you hear like uh, some really good players um, playing it, and, you know, it just sounds amazing. You know, obviously, um, you know, there are players out there who do it, you know, kind of really, really uh, well, and uh, they make it look really easy, but of course it's not that easy. But um, it kind of is easy, but it's not easy. I'll sort of get into it as uh, like we go. But obviously the uh, first thing or, or, or kind of step one is to learn the uh, melody of uh, what you're playing. Um, what we'll um, have a look at today is Tears in Heaven by um, Clapton. So um, you probably all uh, sort of have heard the song and actually know the song. Um, the chords for it, I'll just run you through the uh, chords. A, E over G sharp. F sharp minor, F sharp minor over E, D over F sharp, I'm just doing the verse by the way, A, and then E, and then back, back to F sharp, back to E over G sharp. Okay, so those are the chords, or that's what's called the harmony, okay? Now, over the top of that, uh, and while that's being played, we need to play the uh, melody at the same time. So, what happens in a band context, or in uh, an ensemble context, is that you have obviously different instruments playing and then you have a vocalist who uh, sings at the top. Now the human voice has a has a very uh, you know, it has a it has a range of different timbres, and uh, when I say timbre, I'm talking about the tonal quality. Okay, so just the fact that it's a different uh, thing that is, uh, I guess, emphasising not the vocal makes it stand out. Now when you're playing guitar, obviously, uh, you don't have the advantage of having a completely different timbre to sort of help the melody stand out. So what you'll need to do um, is you will need to voice the chord. Um, in such a way that the melody is um, being played on the top. Or in other words, you, you have to voice the chord so that the melody uh, note is the highest note of the chord. Okay? So anyway, let's have a look at the melody first. Uh, here it is. So I'm just playing the, by the way, I'm just playing the verse of the song. Uh, I'm not doing the intro or anything just yet. We'll sort of put it all together um, you know, in the, in the uh, sort of third part of the series. But here's the melody to the song. Um, Okay, so it's all played in the second lot position. Um, I'll just run into the notes. So it's C sharp to an A. The uh, note C sharp is on fret 2 of the B string. A is on fret 2 of the G string. We're up to fret 5 now on the B. Fret 3 to fret 2, that's, a, that's an E to a D to a C sharp. So. Okay. Uh, after that, we have two Ds, C sharp, B, A, and then C sharp and then two Bs. Okay, so that's basically the verse uh, sort of melody. Okay, now the uh, the trick is is to try and put those chords together with the melody. Okay, so that it all fits in one smooth thing. Here's what I'll actually get you to play. I'll um I'll play it very slowly. Um, now we actually will play the uh, verse um, chord solo arrangement with a little pickup. That's a little uh, like a tail lick. So normally when you're playing a chord solo arrangement or a chord solo thing. You want to try and retain any uh, kind of signature parts of the song that kind of make the song, you know, like the song. So in that Clapton tune, uh, "Tis in Heaven," that's a that's a kind of that's just one of those important licks that we don't want to sort of throw away. Okay, so we'll actually keep that there, and we'll play that little lick as well. Okay, this is all transcribed for you too uh, down the bottom of the notes. So. So I'll just break down what I'm doing there. So the first little bit, it's a hammer on the uh, fret two on the low E string and the open A string. I'm playing an A chord just, just with my first finger, held flat, so rock and roll style. Okay. Playing the D string and the G string while my fingers holding on the A chord, and I'm doing a hammer on, and then a pull off, 
to uh, fret three on the B string, back to fret just to the you know uh, fret two, just where my finger is. Okay, now I go to my E over G sharp chord. Um, I'm doing there, so I'm using my thumb on the bottom on the bass note. And these two fingers here, fingers one and two. So it's grabbing it all together. Bass note again, two strings again. So I'll just put together what I've got so far. Okay, then I change my chord, F sharp minor, as a bar chord. Now I, um, again, I'm actually grabbing using my thumb on the bottom of the bass note, and these two fingers, one on the G, one on the B. Okay, so. So I don't know if uh, you can see what I'm doing there, but I'm grabbing thumb, fingers, thumb. Okay, and then I drop my first finger off the low E string so that I get an F sharp minor over E. Okay, so I just put together those, um, is that four chords? Yeah, that's uh, four chords, so here we go. Okay, now the next little bit, D over F sharp. So I'm playing, grabbing, bass note that I'm doing two here. That's the, uh, that's the uh, like melody. If I, if I, okay. A chord. Now, when, I, when I play the A chord, I put my third finger on uh, fret four of, of the G string to get that melody note. And I just use my finger there to sort of pluck that melody while the bass note's going in. So, so I'm grabbing the um, A chord, so thumb on the bass note, A string, these two fingers, one on the G, one on the B. And then I play the B note, fret four on the G, back to the A note, which is where my finger like already is anyway. So, so I'll just go from the D over F sharp. Okay, then I play an E chord, actually an E7. And what I do there is that I play uh, the bass note again, the G and the B strings. And I hammer onto a C sharp because that's what the melody note, okay? And then I play the uh, string open, the um, open B string. And that's the melody completed, okay? So. And now I need, I need to walk back up to F sharp minor. What I'm doing there is I'm just um, playing, I'm just grabbing. I'm playing the D string, so I, I grab the, um, the low E, the G, and the B, then play the D string, and then I, same thing with the next chord, D string, just so that for uh, lots of variation. Okay, so hopefully you can hear in those um, that that chord sequence, you can hear that melody. So I'm voicing the chord so that, uh, for instance, there's my some melody note there. So I'm not playing the high string there because I mean like even though that's part of the chord I don't want to go above the uh, some melody note because I want that melody to, uh, to pop out, okay? So that's what the first of uh, sort of three parts we'll uh, sort of do. I'll just on the verse there. Next part, uh, next week or so, we'll do the uh, the bridge, and then we'll uh, sort of the bridge, the uh, chorus, and then we'll do um, the week after that. We'll do the bridge and the solo. Okay. Then uh, maybe the fourth lesson we'll try and put it all together. So yeah, but uh, chord uh, chords are melody playing or chord solo playing it doesn't have to be um, blazingly fast or amazingly so intricate. It can be obviously, and obviously if that's your thing. And that's what you do. Obviously, that's that's um, kind of part of the course. But um, uh, I'm not a chord to melody solo buff player guy. But I have played like a lot of gigs where um, in cafes, restaurants, weddings, where um, I do play. You know, I used to have a uh, sort of repertoire of like thirty or forty songs where I would play chord melody solo stuff. You know, and it wasn't it wasn't um, uh, it wasn't amazingly uh, sort of brilliant in uh, like Tommy Manuel's sort of zone. Uh, but you know it was it was musical and it was good and um, you know if you play things in good time and if, if you if you if you uh, uh, kind of phrase things well you can there's there's a lot that you can do okay so 
Um, I hope that's made sense. Um, this will all be transcribed for you in the notes down uh, at the bottom. Again, any questions, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and um, I hope that's got you on your way to become the next Tommy um, or the next um, Leo Kotke or Doral Dykes or whatever takes you to your fancy. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thank you.